We're going to be looking at the top five must-have plugins for After Effects Premiere Pro. All the above, honestly, this list is the go-to guide for plugins that you need to have for your videos going into 2024. We're going to be ranking these from the worst to the very best, and don't take this in any way. Like, number five is not the worst plugin ever. These are all amazing, and there are so many plugins, and I've just brought them down to about five. So we're going to be hopping right into it. Starting at number five, guys, we have Deep Glow. Now, if you don't know what Deep Glow is, I'm going to put you guys on some sauce right now. Deep Glow is by far the best glow plugin of all time. I'm sure you guys have used uh, Uni Glow or Sapphire Glow or anything like that. This honestly just blows everything out of the water. It's by Plugin Everything, and I'm not sponsored by them. But let me just show you guys how it works by dragging and dropping it onto this Tezo clip right here. You can see, boom, it kind of makes everything go crazy immediately, but you can go ahead and tweak with the settings. So the higher you turn the exposure is the higher everything's going to go. And you can mess with the radius as well. Now, what I recommend doing with Glow most of the time is actually duplicating your clip that you have and then masking around a certain thing that you want to glow. Well, let's say like his teeth here. And then once you have your mask, all I did was I went ahead and pre-composed it and then just applied Deep Glow into that. And you guys will see immediately how much his teeth are glowing there. You do want to go ahead and track it frame by frame so you get it perfect. But just like before, you can mess with all of the settings and get it to your liking. So we have that compared to that makes his teeth glow so much more. And you can do this on his eyes. You can do this on a lot of things. Deep Glow is the go-to glow. Now, moving on to the very next one, guys, we have something called Surveillance, which I actually made myself. I'm putting it fairly on the list at number four because it is a great plugin. But to be completely honest with you guys, you can't use it all the time. Like when we get to number one, number two, all those you can use on almost every single project. But Surveillance is crazy as well. So we have Surveillance opened up here, guys. You could pick between No Grid, which will just apply on one video, or you can do a two by two, which makes four video slots or a three by three that makes nine video slots. You can really achieve some crazy security camera-esque looks inside of this. So we're gonna do no grid and then hit choose footage. And you guys could see immediately inside the plugin, it completely transformed our footage and put this creative look on it. Now, if we flicker through each of the looks here, you guys can see we can get some completely different styles inside of here. And you can also mess with the overlays as well and get it to your liking or you could turn them off as well. So we have a really nice VHS look here. So if you go into edit now, you can actually play with the quality and mess with everything to your own liking. So I'm gonna turn that up there. And then you could also play with the glitch as well. So we have a super creative look already, just like that. And then going back into base, let's say we wanna do a colored look. We can go into this one and then play with the hue so we can get like a nice little night vision look or we can get thermal. Honestly, guys, there's so much playing around with, especially inside of these ones here. You can really mess with everything and just tweak it to your own liking. That even looks crazy there, guys. But yeah, that is surveillance there. We can also go ahead inside the tracker tabs and add these super sick face trackers here and track them to your artist's face. And there's also body trackers as well. And if you click on the tool here, they're fully customizable inside of the plugin. Like I said, guys, this is a fire plugin, but it only works for a couple of use cases because you can only create a couple of effects with it. If you guys want to go ahead and grab surveillance, it'll be linked below on my website along alongside a bunch of my other edited packs. Super quick, before we get any more into this video, I have to let you guys know about my edited packs presets. Over my website, there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you. We have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly. We have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes, hits, and wipes to your videos super easily. A LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs, drag and drop 3D effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever, and so many other different unique looks, editing packs, and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals. If you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024, I highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you. But anyways, let's hop right back into this. Up next, I have an absolute treat for you guys. This plugin came out less than a week ago and I've already made one video on it, but if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend you guys check it out after I show you this. This plugin is called MXM and it's by my boy Fred Pele. Now, all you have to do at the very beginning is just fetch your comp and hit launch. You guys can see immediately we get a super crazy mixed media effect if we compare the before and after here. And this is fully customizable. You guys can see that just looks absolutely insane. I can't believe this is fully digital. Now we could go in and play with the different looks and turn them up or down. I recommend turning on polarized time, which basically lowers the FPS rate to make it a lot more like paper. And then you can play with the scans as well. If you want to get more of a comic-y cartoon look, I recommend turning them up to 8x. Or if you want to go with more of a realistic look, you can go with 2x. I like the I really like the way the grunge looks on this. You can turn on or off shake, flicker, scatter, and damage. And if we go into source as well here, you have a lot more you can mess around with, like the intensity here. And then you can mess with a bunch of other textures. Like this one's a cardboard texture. And there's honestly just so much to mess around with inside of this plugin. You can play with the color, the exposure, the noise, 
videos. Everything is fully customizable. And this is honestly my favorite plugin to have come out in such a long time. It's so creative and you could do so much with it. If you were to go ahead and make these mixed media effects yourself using actual paper and a scanner, this would take so long. He's honestly compacted it into such a crazy workflow. You guys want to go ahead and grab this below. You can use my code TinyTapes to save $5 off. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. All right, so moving on to number two, we're getting there to the very first one, guys. We have a little plugin called RSMB. Now, if you don't know what RSMB is, it's real smooth motion blur. And if you're wondering, well, how can this help me? All these other effects have been so cool and you're going to put me on the motion blur. Well, RSMB is actually something I use on every single one of my videos. So if we go ahead, we already have some motion blur on this clip here. But RSMB is basically going to add that motion blur on top of it, especially if you're creating new effects. RSMB really is the sauce. As you guys can see, we can turn it on and off there. We get that super realistic motion blur and you can play with all the settings inside of here as well. I'm not sponsored by RSMB, but I use it on every single one of my videos. And it honestly, is just so effective. You guys can see there with it on and off. All right, and then before we move on to number one, we have a few honorable mentions. I put these here because I really didn't want to give them a spot on the list because I can assume most of you guys know what they are. We're talking about Sapphire and Red Giant Universe. If you guys don't know what these are, I recommend going over to their website and checking them out or looking up a couple of videos on them. Red Giant Universe and Sapphire are basically these plugins that come with a bunch of effects. You can pay a monthly subscription for them. Inside of Sapphire, the best ones are pretty much all their distort effects, their shake, their glow, everything above like that. And inside of Universe, they have some really cool glow effects heat wave and a bunch of other stuff as well if you guys don't have these two i definitely recommend adding them to your bank as they are must-haves but i just didn't want them to take up a spot on this list because people have been using them and talking about them for like five years now all right guys and at number one we have shake sauce brian absolutely snapped on this and there is a v2 coming soon just to give you guys a little heads up if you guys end up grabbing the v1 you'll get automatically updated for free with the v2 but this is already crazy as it is we're gonna go over to all and we have a bunch of built-in shakes here. So all you have to do is right click and create an adjustment layer here. I recommend doing two of them just so you can go back and forth with different shakes. Let's say uh, when that transition happens here, we're going to go and put on a quick hit with flash. And then all you have to do is just press U on your keyboard and align the keyframes just like so to when the transition hits. On the second adjustment layer, let's go with hard hit with flash for this one. Same thing, hit U, move our keyframes over. And if we add one more adjustment layer here as well, we can add a shake to the entire thing. So just going to the very bottom here, we could do an X and Y shake medium. That honestly looks so crazy, guys, and the shake is so smooth. I would ignore the Lyrical Lemonade logo here because it is kind of wrecking it, but it does show you how smooth the shake is and how everything works. This is really like the only static thing in the video. But yeah, I use this on every single one of my videos. But yeah, guys, that has been my top five plugins of 2024. I have all of these and I use them all the time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. If you guys want to check out any of the plugins, they'll be linked below. And for some of them, I'll have a few codes that you guys can use to save money. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.